Good morning. How rich was the rich young ruler? I'm Larry Kirkpatrick, and this is At Dawn with Pastor Larry. We're looking today in our morning devotional here at Mark, chapter 10, and we're looking at uh, verses 17 through 22. Let's read it. Now, as he was going out on the road, one came running, knelt before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is, God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and mother. And he answered and said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. Then Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, One thing you lack, go your way, sell whatever you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross, and follow me. And as in many of these, the, 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 the big statement is the last verse in the section 22. But he was sad at this word, and went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. He had great possessions, did he? Mm. I think we can call this one the poor young ruler, not the rich young ruler, the poor young ruler. This fellow thought that Jesus was good. He called him good teacher. But the problem here, part of the problem here, this guy also thinks that he himself is good. When Jesus said, which commandments have you... Uh, oh, I've been doing all these from my youth. So he thought he was in pretty good shape here. And he came to Jesus, I think, to get a cookie. You know, he came to get a a little reward or a, a, a virtue signaling. This guy's out here virtue signaling. Jesus is going to bless him and he's going to walk down the street with his chest puffed out, but it doesn't really kind of work out that way. So what have we got going here? Rich individual comes along and he comes running to Jesus. He just runs up to him and then he, he bows before him. And so this, it starts off, you know, looks so very promising. But let's see what happens as it goes on. Look. Mark says that Jesus, looking at him, loved him. He agape in him. Self, unselfish love was going out from Jesus to this, to this very promising uh, young fellow. I mean, he came running to Jesus. Didn't come, Jesus didn't come running to him. He comes running to Jesus. But he was missing something, and Jesus puts his finger on it. One thing you lack. Oh, how many of us would like it if, if God could just say to us, you know, you're in pretty good shape. There's just only one thing you're missing. A lot of us would say, only one? Well, praise, praise, tell us what it is. We'd be very thrilled to just know that there's only one. But look at what we have here. This guy does not value things correctly. Oh, he is so far off. And Jesus wants to reveal it to him so that he can have this wonderful benefit of, of being a full disciple of Jesus. You know, a lot of us are kind of like the rich young ruler. We think we have great possessions. We're not valuing things right. Jesus points out to him, you know, it's, it's, so this isn't about riches. Uh, this is not about material wealth. If you really have the, the same spirit as I have, come along now and come with me. Sell your stuff and come and we'll go and we'll spread the good word of God's gospel. And he went away sorrowful because he had great possessions. This is the story of a lot of us. A lot of us are at the same place as the rich young ruler. We really, we think we're doing pretty well spiritually, but actually we aren't really on Jesus' team. That's why this guy went away. He really wasn't on Jesus' team, but he'd been keeping the commandments from his youth. But it turned out so sad that he wasn't even on Jesus' team. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for this uh, story, for recording this historical vignette, this thing that actually happened, so sad though it is. But help us to learn from it, Lord. Help us to not have a mistake in how we evaluate our riches. Our real riches are in being part of your kingdom. And so, Lord, help us to not make the mistake that this poor young ruler did, who actually turned out to be so very poor, because he turned his back on your word of truth. Oh, Lord, help us. May it not be so for any of us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, leave a comment below about something, something large or small, that you gave up to follow Jesus. Just put a comment in there. Let's value things right today. Now let's go out there and have a wonderful day in the Lord. God be with you.